Alright, hey YouTube. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use collision groups. Uh, so, let me open up fun. One second. Alright, so, by default, each shape that you create, or each object, actually, they're all selected for collision group A. And when two objects, like these two, are in the same collision group, like, watch, let me show you. Alright, so I'm clicking the circle, opening up collision group, collision menu, and so it, collision group A is selected, right? And then if I click on the rectangle and I do the same thing, collision group A is also selected. So when I click play, they're going to collide. However, if I make collision, if I make the circle, if I deselect collision group A for the circle and I select collision group B, look what happens. They don't collide. So that's pretty much it for collision groups. You can also uh, select multiple collision groups, so you can do B and C. Oh, yeah, okay, All right? And so, um, I'll make this, I'll make another object that goes right here. And I'm going to make it collision group C, and not A, and look what happens. <clears throat> See? They don't touch the rectangle, but they, they the circles touch each other. And that's it for today. So, goodbye YouTube.